Welcome back, I'm Jay. We got Steve right here today. We are talking about your pictures. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it, Steve. We have no time to waste because I know you got a bunch of them loaded up and ready to go. I have so many ready to go. Real quick, if you want to be on this show, you can email the best pictures that you can to pics at greengridiron.com or tag us on your favorite source of social media and maybe we'll get to you. Yes, and if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the uh, Heads Up Show by Green Grid Iron. We go over helmets and uh, everything that goes into them. We're really into this stuff. And if you are too, you've come to the right place. We don't want to waste your time. Let's get right into this, Steve. Cool. And let's stop screwing around. First up is Hudson. And I tell you, each week it's June, but we're still getting snow pictures. Yeah, it's how far behind we are. Very cool. Steve, real camera or cell phone? Tough to tell. Um, it, this might be a phone on portrait mode that is just done perfect. Yeah, we got a lot of bokeh in the background. There. This might be it. like a legit DSLR, actually. Yep. I love this. It's it's all white with a little bit of black here and there. It goes great with the background. This helmet has been used. This is uh, what matte white is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't love the clear uh, TPU lining underneath the tectonic plates of the F7. But it's better than blue and it's better than black in this case. It's yeah, frosty, baby. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It is. <laughs> I like the only black and white are the visor clips. I think that's cool. Beautiful pictures. Let's go with a 7.1. Okay. You I can some, see where this is going to go. You're getting, getting some bonus points because of the, uh, the bokeh. I like bokeh. <laughs> Yeah, it makes the picture better. Next up is Nate. Holy cow. Oh this is a 3D printed helmet. First of all, the, the pictures are just stupid awesome. What is going on with this face mask? Wait, wait, wait. A 3D printed helmet. This whole thing is 3D printed. The, the, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh. And it's super cool. Oh, man. This is amazing. I, I, want, I want one. Yeah, I want one too. Um, this is so badass. I, I almost don't have It the, looks like a zombie helmet. It's like a knight's helmet. It's got scarred battle wounds. I don't, I don't know. He's, he's at this. Nate, seriously, call us. How long have we had these pictures in here? I'm, I'm not sure. This one, I bet you we've only had in the queue for about two weeks. It's uber cool. Uh, it's obviously, it's at a church. Yeah. Of some kind somewhere, I'm guessing in the south. I don't know this if, if it's even fair that I can give this a score yet because I really have a lot of questions. I don't even know what it is, is, is yet, but I'm going to give it at least for what it is, like a 9.9. .9. Yeah. I guess. It's Maybe. amazing. I want to see, is there pads on the inside? Can we put a visor in that thing? Would you even want to put a visor in that thing? I, seriously, reach out to us. Email us, man. Yeah. Email me. Or you guys and, email. Uh, or, or, yeah. no, or did this come off of social? Ooh, this came through email. I'm going to hit you up, man. Yeah. So, Nate, you get a 9.9. Stay .9. tuned, everyone else. We might be doing a, a feature on one of those yes. at some point. Yeah, the thing is sick. All right, next up is Matthew. This is sick, too. So proper. I almost want to say this is coming from the team. This looks too good. I, I would definitely agree with that. It's, who is this from again? Matthew. Matthew, do you work for the team? And, and look at the um, look at the strap locks. They're painted white with a little bit of black showing, like it almost like it was hit a little bit. It's a different color of white. So it's the same. As the strap locks match the cam locks. Yep. I don't know off the top of my head whether Auburn paints their cam locks mechanisms as well. It looks like the Auburn on the chin strap is a sticker. Yes. Which means it's also sticker on the straps of said chin strap, which lets me, makes me believe that maybe it is not from the team because I would bet the team, I don't know what that word, maybe we'll have to well, give them a call. It, I would think that the team is going to get theirs like stamped in. You would think so. But I don't know, it depends. And you know what I notice about this too? Some of the pictures have sports star conversion with buckles, some of them have cam lock. Let me see those then. Oh, yeah. So we got two different helmets we're looking at. Yeah. But it's got seven up there, but ten down there. That ten must be for uh, something a else. A memorial sticker. Yeah. So he has two awesome helmets. So the more we look, Matthew, the more questions we have. Mm -hmm. Either way, these are two 
phenomenal helmets. Is yeah. that like a campground or something? I, yeah, it is for sure. I mean, I go camping with my helmets, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Always. Never leave home without it. Um, th these things are pristine. Uh, I'm going to go with a, a 9.7. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good... Yeah, this is a good show. I think I don't think they're from the team. My my gut's telling me they're not from the team. I, mean, I got I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say they are. Yeah, that's my that's my guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Next up is Benny. So Benny, we got a little uh, little glare. Yeah, a little sun action in the that background. That could be by design, though, right? I I hope he means this. We got some Xbox games in the background. Oh yeah. We got we got a dome screw happening on this thing. We got a really cool um, mm. Saints tapestry, maybe. It's like some sort of a pendant, a flag, a towel, it's blanket. A big pendant. It we looks actually like it might be from 1967. No, seriously, <laughs> yeah. I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, got a cool little radio. Or That's something. what I'm saying. That old little analog look. <laughs> you know, <you> got Mickey. <laughs> you know, so you learn a lot about somebody by the things that they put purposely yep. or accidentally leave in the background right he's we the get, disney this, lover xbox playing saints fan so we got the elite clips on the side those are super rare this helmet is legit again a really proper helmet it could have come from the team too 15 years ago right but it could have it could have it looks. Yeah. Let us know, Benny, if you're watching. Where'd you get? Yeah, this? And, and you know those those older helmets, the VSR4. You know they're not as um, they're not as crisp looking as the newer helmets, right? And that's, that's one way of putting it. And that helmet's not as not as crisp, right? No, no. Oh, I'm going to say it's another. It could be potentially another team helmet. See, yeah. I'm going to go with a 9.1. Man, we're just knocking them out of the park. Yeah, today. I'm not I a fan it. of VSR4s in general. So. No, that's the highest VSR4. But if it's legit, it's legit. Right? Yeah. Can't argue with it. Next up is I'm going to say Changler. Sure. Okay. I love when people send before and afters. Is he editing something in the background? I think so. And look oh, at this. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. He's doing everything right here. Uh, another VSR4, I believe. Yeah. yeah, it looks like he painted it. He's got old clips. He's got the Riddell Z-Bar face mask on here. This is the Z2B. He's got legit decals, where at least they look legit from here. I think the thing that makes this just the cherry on the top are the faded yellow face mask clips. I mean, this this could be another 10, 15-year-old helmet. I mean, they're, Because they're, he made this, though. So, like... That's he, true. He could have went and put nice, bright... But but he didn't. No. Because it wouldn't be. I'm going to go 8.8. .8 yeah, I love guy. that. I, I don't know. Good work, man. The uh, the Num pictures numbers will take it to another level. Pictures probably could have gotten stepped up a little bit, but you made the show. Don't worry about it. All right, next up is Ryan, and he's like, "Hey, a lot of people wrote in, by the way, but for the sake of time, I'm sorry. I just I just just couldn't get to them all." Um, so he played high school for the Grover Greyhounds in his home state of Texas. So he decided to make a couple of helmets and. Uh, what a great collection. This is in his basement. He said he's redoing it. So, Well, I'm a fan of Greyhounds in general. Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. I used to have a Greyhound. Um, Hiro Nakamura was his name. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> uh, this is this is super cool. I, I love seeing these helmet hangers in action. They look like they're floating. The balls, I, I, don't, I don't remember what those things are called. Those have been out for a while. I love them. I think they're great. Uh, you can display your basketballs, all kinds of balls on those. Yeah. Um, you know... I'm going to give, uh, overall, these helmets all look very clean and well put together. We've got visors in them. We've got, you know, a lot of love and care has gone into putting these things together. Um, we've got, some have visor clips, some have uh, zip ties. All appear to have hard cut chin straps. Um, yeah. What's that one in the middle? It even has a, what looks like some kind of uh, a flag decal over the warning label. But it looks like they've got the, you know, extra or aftermarket warning labels have been added to these things. I think there's probably nothing you can name that hasn't been done to these. For this display, let's go with a 9.0. I agree. Yeah. A good Again, day. A lot of old, you're going with you're going with these old helmet shells that I'm you just know, not a fan of. Sometimes they're all speed flex. Sometimes there's a lot yeah. of vices. It's just, you know, it's just how it goes. All right, next up is Rafe. Wow. Wow. You love it, and I know that you love it in that locker. Without it being in that locker, 
I don't know if it would have even caught my eye. <laughs> this is how you photograph a purple and white faded helmet. Well, and there's something to be said about, you know, color on color on color, right? Yeah. Um, the purple of this chin strap is what sticks out to me as like, oh, why, why not just make the purple chin strap an actual purple that like matches helmet color? Now, here's purple. the thing. He did say this was redone and didn't have the decals yet. Maybe the decals have like a plum purple. Maybe. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. But I guess that, 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 that chin strap does match the, like the molded purple of helmet shells better. Yeah, man. I suppose. This guy needs to be uh, brought back to, or brought up to speed with the um, chin strap. Oh, you yeah. Know that this has got the old ratchet style, uh, which was out for the first, I think, two years of the Speed Flex, but now um, the new mechanism is just better. It in, is. In the camera. Lock. You can tell it's a small helmet, too. It just looks a little smaller. Yeah. There's a bigger gap up by the face. Oh, yeah, mask. for sure. Yeah. So the, the Speed Flex helmets, it's one, face mask wise, it's one size fits all. So whether you're wearing a small size or an extra large size, the same size or same face mask will fit all of them. But that means if we're looking at an extra large helmet here that's gonna have a bigger shell, there's like almost no gap yeah. whatsoever. You can barely get like a credit card to squeeze in there. So yeah, hey. so let's go with, uh, let's go with 7.8. I like that. I like it. All right, next up is John. Now, first of all, this guy's got quite a setup in his house, it looks like, because all the pictures he sent in more, and he was like, man, the torch, I think it was, or Tiger's Blood Visor, he said looked fire, but he couldn't pass up when the Grape Ape came out. I'll tell you, man, that, the purple in that Grape Ape is, in these pictures are so clean. Maybe it's, maybe it's, some of it is the, is the pictures, but yeah. it just looks fantastic, especially the one that he's wearing. This has green gridirons just written all over it. Is. We could have built this like this. Yeah, hmm. yeah. I mean, he yeah. said much love to green gridirons, so thank you because yeah, you I got, feel like you got, you got the Sports Star T-Rex Hurricane chin strap. You've got the shock visor. You've got the shock visor clips in gray that match. You got 3D bumpers on here. You've obviously got the full helmet. Yeah, this thing is um, all the way. Purple and gold looks awesome together. Good job, man. I'm going with a 9.2 on this guy. That's a lot of nines today. I'm, For some I'm, reason, I'm in a good mood. I'm happy. Wait, wait till you see this. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Wow. It's a De La Soul helmet. So for the youngins who don't even know what De La... It's me, myself, and I, right? <laughs> it is. I am not a De La Soul fan or person whatsoever but this is super cool this is funky this is colorful it's so creative it, i'm blown away with this to me you win the day it's dude. got some kind of kool-aid visor it's yeah. got painted clips that look they, they look great just it's just the right amount of gloss on those things the decals on this are fantastic these look like they kind of came maybe from some kind of just like a I don't know, a De La Soul sticker sheet? He's got De La Soul on the TV in the background there. The colors are all over the place. Dude, the way that he even has them go into the rear bumper, those rear decals yeah. where it's just like, screw it. I don't know, this is just a mystery machine looking helmet. He painted the um, TPU the liner, TPU. that incredible blue. This wins for me of the day. It is so unbelievably is creative. Is that green? A green that we even stock? I don't think it no, is. Oh, it's like a slime green. green. We have Preston behind the camera just dying to see what we're talking yeah. about right now, right? It's, it's, so it's, 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 this is good, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you after. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with, uh, I, I don't know, Steve, a, a 9.8. Yeah, good. So next up is Lance with stunningly beautiful background. Wow. He's getting bonus points for displaying the box. Yeah. Look at look at where this guy lives, first of all. Absolutely gorgeous yeah, background. Yeah. Is that out west or is that like in, no, I, that's like tropics. That's why I'm like, is this, uh, is this in New Zealand or something? I, I don't even know, man. But then I saw palm trees. Like, is this, where are you? It, that's way too green for New Zealand. Right. Well, no, actually, no, it's not. But... Uh, I'm thinking, hmm, subtropics, maybe Mexico? I don't know. You got Guatemala. me. Panama. He said, um, by the way, the, he calls the one original and then the other one done and upgraded. Like the original version with the Oakley oh, and stuff yeah. is beautiful. But look at what he did with the Zudi mask. Oh, yeah. The gold clips, the, the 24K yep. visor on there. That First is, of all. That's the shield 
No, it's the that's the Zudi Crusader EG808. Yep. Very and nicely done with the black uh, Sports Star chin strap. Uh, yeah, it looks fantastic. And, you know, I can tell that this is not in the United States, Steve. You know how we can tell that? N no. Well, if you look on the box, uh, not that photo, the other photo. If you look on the uh, box, you see the little purple strip there. Yeah. So when we ship outside the U.S., you got to put in three uh, pack slips, so customs can you know open it up easily and take a look. And that's how we we don't we, we don't do that for domestic shipments. Yeah. I want to know where you are, Lance. Tell us if you're yeah. watching, and because you know you are. Again, thank you for putting the effort into doing this, and thank you for your purchases. Of course, sick. Yeah. It's just Let's awesome. go with a nine point three. Yeah. Why not? How can you not? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So, good show. All right. Next up is Thomas. You got your work cut out for you, Thomas. And he did. He delivered. Look at this box that he took these pictures in. I, I don't know. It, it, it's on a glass shelf. Yeah. Maybe it's some kind of display case or. I, that's what I'm thinking. Thing. The, it's something. It's a little hazy. It's mm -hmm. got, got some LED lights. You can see this kind of the strips and the reflection in there. Mm -hmm. um, this is, you know, it's just the right amount of orange on this. Orange and blue go. So Absolutely. You got the blue of the TPU. If we had a side decal that had orange and blue in it, and this is all by design, because it's interesting, we have a stripe, but we have no side decals. No side decals, and a different American flag than I've ever seen. Big. It's big it's and rounded. It, it's got rounded it, Rounded corners. edges, there's no border. I, I like it, it's just. There's so many different American flags. Out you know there what I think? I think that's like one of those, not in Boss Tech, but it's a it's bulbous different. one okay. that like, Goes in like an. Oh, uh, maybe. I love these pictures. I'm gonna, they're, they're I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a 8.1. Yeah. On this guy. Yeah. I'm curious if those side decals are gonna match everything else, or maybe they don't have any. Maybe. Next up and last already, man. That was that was that was fast. Jacob. All right, Jacob. Bright, vibrant colors. You did the right thing by taking this thing outside, and maybe not the right thing of putting the other ones on your oven. Well, that's okay. Hey, you know, it's a it's a white background. Is that an oven or is that like a? I see burners, right? Okay. Those are burners. Yeah, it's an oven. Like an oven? Okay. Okay. Maybe because it's hot. And this is this is an example of how you know trying to match a visor to a decal color. It's not going to happen. Right. It's not, not going to work. The, this is I consider this a Kool Aid visor, mm -hmm. uh, orange I guess or tropical. A little okay. tropical punch. Yeah, I think it's a cool helmet. This is an old DNA. I'm not a fan of the DNA, no. Steve. No, I'm with you. Um, but there are tons of DNA helmets and these those older type helmets out there that you can pick them up on eBay. You can really experiment with these things. Let's go with a uh, 7.3. Okay, you're still on the sevens, man. You made it. Thank you for the submissions. We're trying to do this every week. It's hard for us because we're getting busy. Jay's a busy guy, you know, so I got to drag him in the studio. But really, if you want to make this show, please keep the pictures coming. Keep them coming. We want to see. Um, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.